Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. Have you noticed that lately you can look right at the sun, right directly at it without wearing sunglasses and it doesn't bother your eyes? Just kidding folks, don't do that. But uh, sincerely now, as the sun gets successfully more blank with each day due to lack of sunspots, it is also dimming. According to data from NASA Space Weather, so far in 2017, 96 days, that's 27% of the days observing the sun have been without sunspots. Here is the view today from the NASA Solar Dynamics Observatory Satellite. That's it right there, that big old sun. Uh, today at Cape Canaveral, SpaceX launched a new sensor to the International Space Station, space station excuse me, named TSIS-1. It's like T. SIS-1. There you go. It's mission to measure the dimming of the sun's irradiance. It'll replace the aging source spacecraft. NASA SDO reports that as the sunspot cycle plunges toward its 11-year minimum, NASA satellites are tracking a decline in total solar irradiance. That's TSI. Now across the entire electromagnetic spectrum, the sun's output has dropped nearly 0.1% compared to the solar maximum of 2012 to 2014. Now this plot shows the TSI since 1978 as observed from nine previous satellites. So you can see it right there. I mean, uh, this probably isn't going to show you an awful lot. If you look at it here just very quickly, there you are. Now, uh, in other news, as the magnetic activity of the sun decreases, influx of galactic cosmic rays, that's GCRs, increase has been observed by balloon measurements over California. And that's that one right there. As you can see, again, it may not mean a whole lot to you. Now, why are cosmic rays intensifying? The main reason is the sun. Now, uh, solar storm clouds, such as coronal mass ejections, that CME, sweep aside cosmic rays when they pass by Earth. During solar maximum, CMEs are abundant and cosmic rays are held at bay. Now, however, the solar cycle is swimming, swinging excuse me, towards solar minimum, allowing cosmic rays to return. Another reason could be the weakening of Earth's magnetic field, which helps us protect, or helps protect us, I should say, from deep space radiation. Okay, folks, did any of that make any sense to you? Well, anyway, evidently uh, the sun is dimming. Uh, how significant this will be, I don't know. Um, but it's due to a lack of sunspots. Certainly you know what those are. You know what coronal mass ejections are, some of this other stuff. Well, I think you have to really be into studying the sun to understand it. Uh, but anyway, I will leave you a link to this, folks, and I ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up, and please share it if you feel so led to, and most importantly of all, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. If you live in America, you're a character in Fortress, a Wayfarer story. It's gritty, it's edgy, it's timely, and it's today. It's fiction that the deep state does not want you to read. What will you do if this story comes true? Get it in Kindle and paperback at the link in the description area below this video.